Welcome back, fellow time-traveling nerds. Pinky and the Brain is a classic 90s animated series that featured Pinky, the lovable and enthusiastic sidekick, and Brain, the brilliant but bumbling mastermind. The show followed the adventures of two mice who lived in a laboratory and dreamt of world domination. One of the reasons Pinky and the Brain was so successful is that it was incredibly funny. The show's humor was smart, witty, and never failed to make audiences laugh. So, here's a few things you might not know about them just yet. 1. Rob Paulson was originally planned to voice the brain and Maurice Lamarche would voice Pinky. However, the producers felt that their voices were better suited for the opposite characters, so they were switched with Paulson voicing Pinky and Lamarche voicing the brain. Number 2. Lamarche claims in auditioning for the role he immediately saw the brain's resemblance to famed director Orson Welles and adjusted his voice accordingly. He was then given the job on the spot. Number 3. The famous catchphrase, Are You Pondering What I'm Pondering, was almost cut from the show's pilot episode. The producers felt it was too repetitive, but it ended up becoming one of the show's most memorable lines. Number 4. In an episode titled The Pinky and the Brain Reunion Special, the characters make a reference to a previous collaboration they had with Steven Spielberg, the executive producer of the show. This is a nod to their original appearance in Animaniacs. 5. Pinky and the Brain are the only characters from Animaniacs to receive their own spin-off show and they actually received two of them. The second lesser-known show is called Pinky, Elmira, and the Brain. The latter only lasted one year and 13 episodes. Personally, I would have liked to see a spin-off based on the good feathers. Surely, Squid, Bobby, and Pesto could get into numerous, nefarious, pigeon mafia-related hijinks. 6. The character Pinky might be ambidextrous. In some episodes he is seen writing with his left hand and others with his right hand. 7. In the show, Pinky is shown playing a saxophone. This is a reference to the fact that the voice actor, Rob Paulson, is an accomplished saxophonist in real life. Number 8. In the show we find out that Pinky has the ability to regenerate, knows all the world's cheeses, and can recite all the lyrics to Yako's song, Brain Noir. The last part likely being an inside joke, given that the same actor voices Pinky and Yako. 9. Pinky is a known masochist. At one point in the comics Brain asks, Pinky, who was that masked woman, and Pinky responds, I dunno, but wasn't it fun being tied up and forced to tell the truth? 10. The concept for Pinky and the Brain originated from a joke among the writers. They jokingly suggested a spin-off featuring two laboratory mice trying to take over the world, and the idea eventually became a reality. The characters were based on the producers Eddie Fitzgerald and Tom Minton. Ruger, creator of Tiny Toon Adventures, often joked that Minton seemed always be plotting to take over the world and Fitzgerald would respond approvingly with nonsense words like narf and agad. 11. Pinky in the Brain includes voice acting credits for famous actors like Mark Hamill, voice of the Joker, James Belushi, from Saturday Night Live, Nancy Cartwright of The Simpsons, and Dick Clark, from American Bandstand and many other shows. 12. The show's writers often included subtle references and nods to classic movies and literature. For example, one episode titled The Third Mouse is a parody of Alfred Hitchcock's film The Third Man. And so, dear viewers, as we bid adieu to Pinky and the Brain, we can't help but reflect on the wild and wacky adventures that have kept us laughing and pondering along with these two iconic lab mice. From Brain's elaborate schemes to Pinky's accidental brilliance, their dynamic has brought joy to countless fans of all ages. As we take this nostalgic trip down memory lane, let's remember that even in their pursuit of world domination, Pinky's unwavering friendship and Brain's unyielding determination taught us that the journey itself is what truly matters. So, until we meet again, remember, one is a genius, the other's insane, and together, they've left an indelible mark on the world of animation. Narf.